Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are joined by Jerome Horton. He is the chair of California's Board of Equalization. And since I've known him as a member of the board, he and his wife, if I may say, who's an elected official in Englewood, have been sponsoring a seminar, a conference to support women-owned businesses. Yes, Brad. It's yeah. the Connecting Women to Power mm -hmm. Business Conference. We've been doing it every year, and it's been extremely successful because it's helping others to be successful. Talk to us about why you believe it's necessary to have this conference. I mean, you know, it's 2015. Isn't everything honky-dory in 2015? Well, it's not, Brad. I mm -hmm. mean, women are still not um, receiving the same compensation that mm -hmm. men are. And uh, the reason that we're doing it, though, is really because Please. there are huge values, a huge resource that's untapped, unutilized, and so forth. So if we can help women as well as men, don't get me wrong. Right, no, I understand. We're reaching out to right. men as well. But if we can help women grow in their business currently, you know, uh, women start about 120, about 1,200 businesses mm -hmm. an hour. Mm. However, they're not as successful. You know, they only contribute about six percent to the to the revenue that's generated by businesses in California. Is it is it a is it a, the, 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 we don't as a culture kind of support female entrepreneurship? Is that part of what what's going well, on here? Brad, I think the glass ceiling is real. It mm -hmm. may have elevated a little bit, mm -hmm. might not be as low as it was, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it's still there at mm -hmm. certain levels. And so. Uh, you know, in a very competitive world, people don't necessarily focus on en enhancing mm -hmm. the assets that we have. Right. And so our job is just basically to educate, to empower, so and let's so let's talk about the conference. It's a few months off, which is yeah. good, so we have plenty yeah. of time to prepare. Yeah. It's going to be on June 18th at Cal State Dominguez Hills, yes. which is where you've had it in the past, correct? You've had it there right. every year. And so, beautiful campus, large location. How does someone participate? How do they sign up? Well, they just tap into my website. Hopefully, you guys right. have put yeah, it on absolutely. there so everyone can yeah, see it. Right. But if they tap into the website, they'll see they can go in and sign up and register. The interesting mm -hmm. about it is free, Brad. I like However, that. Uh, every year we sell out early, we sell out quick. So right. 3,000, 3,500 women generally register for the conference. I was recently speaking with, I guess we would call him one of your former colleagues. His name is John Chung. Well, John's always a colleague. Right, exactly. <laughs> so he had been on the BOE before you. Yes. But then as controller, he was on the BOE with you. Yeah. We now saw. he's treasurer, so he's not on the BOE. Right. <laughs> but he has an initiative that ties into this, mm -hmm. and that is trying to create more diversity on corporate boards. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, John mm -hmm. as controller and Betty as controller. Right. They, Betty they sit on about 170 boards. Right, right. And so John did a yeoman's job, I think, in appointing women, mm -hmm. but mostly in point, in appointing individuals who are intelligent right. and who represent our society. But and that happens to be women are 50% of the right. world. More, I think. Yeah, yeah a little bit more. <laughs> right, so, exactly. Thank God. <laughs> right. But what he's also looking at is not just creating diversity in state boards, but right. actually the corporate, corporate boardrooms, boards. the private boardrooms. Yes. And using CalPERS. You know, and Calsters to as, cajole. As a leverage, right, to, leverage to, to, right. to accomplish exactly. that objective. There's a lot of wisdom. Right. right. So, <laughs> what do you make of that desire, that push, that move to diversify the boardroom? Well, you know, board of equalization. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, equal. Well yeah. stated. Right. <laughs> when we equalize, when mm -hmm. we uh, when things conform, when there's mm -hmm. parity and so forth, our society is better off. Right. You know, we're not at a point where we don't need women creating more jobs. We do. We need right. them creating more jobs, creating more opportunities, their innovation, their creativity. We need to be able to tap into that. It's a fabulous resource. Right. And I commend John okay. and join him in that uh, effort. You know it. Okay, <laughs> they're coming up uh, women's... Tell me the name of the conference again. Connecting Women to Power Business Conference. It is on June 18th at Cal State Dominguez Hills. If you want more information, just go to the BOE website. It will yes. be there. His name is Jerome Horton. He is the chair of the Board of Equalization in our great state of California. I'm Brad Pomerantz. It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.